Hi, my name is Eric, and this is a story about how me and my friends flew to Texas to Music Bad's Lake House, toured their headquarters, and dreamed up all the plans for our feature length documentary. Check it out. Oh, that's a problem. 2.30? Yep. Bad boy. Yeah. Got back at 3, made grilled cheese, in bed by 3.30. Bad boy. Hey, it was delicious. I was a good boy. Went to bed by 11 o'clock. Well... Day one. Gene, Steven, Laura, and I departed Chicago for Dallas-Fort Worth at 4 p.m. Highly recommend flying at this time. It's awesome. What are you most excited about for this trip? Everything. I think meeting the music by people. Laura and Mio, we've been talking to... At least Steven and I for a year now. And I think like put real faces in person to names. I'm excited about that. And Nick as well yeah. from Stills. And Nick too. A lot of social time. Meeting Daniel will be super cool. Johnny Stimson also. Yeah. Mm. I'll be honest, I totally did not recognize his name. And then I saw Music Bits promos yeah. for his concert and instantly recognized the photo of him on that orange background. And I'm like, oh, so he's like the homepage guy on Music Bed. Cool, cool, cool. That's an honor to hang out with him. That'll be really fun. I'm so excited to make content. <laughs> no, I'm actually excited to be um, by the water at a lake. It'll be fun. We snagged our rental car and headed over to Music Bed's Lake House for a late dinner. But before then, we got the tour. Oh yeah, welcome to the Lake House. Oh, is this like an episode of Cribs now? Okay, Cribs. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> TV, welcome to my crib. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I'm be the first one to poop in that bathroom. Can you stand here? Whoa. Oh. oh my gosh, we went in the lake box when you were here. Dude. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, in a bar. The oh. The closet. Stop the dressing it. room is actually what they call it. Oh! <laughs> For why? <laughs> I'm bigger than my apartment. I'm sleeping in this closet. Oh, this is, this is where I'm in sleeping. Joe and Maddie's closet. Can we just do a quick jump cut, uh, real quick, at this part in the video of just my face doing this over and over? <laughs> just over and over. <laughs> oh. oh. I have the shirt, but I gotta stay on it, so I'm so happy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Day two. In the morning, we saw the house in the daylight. It did not disappoint. Well, well hey, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the uh, gym. <laughs> this is the atypical way to use this thing. Come here often. <laughs> welcome to music bed. <laughs> the massive dining table lent itself to having meals together with the whole FM team. It was a delight. Quick shout out to Laura and Mia, who set this whole trip up with its incredible itinerary. FM is actually the parent company of music bed, and it has a few other brands as well. And we broke it all down with the CEO, Daniel McCarthy, on an episode of Rally Caps. Seriously, can't wait for y'all to hear that one. And that Tuesday evening, we took a trip to Denton, a nearby small town, and got a private showing of the Denton Camera Exchange, run by the legend himself, Armand. I made it a point to bring my Canon 1V 35mm film camera on this trip. This little guy, I think I might make a whole video about it. Pretty stoked about this camera these days. I've had it for like seven years. And I brought it so I could shoot film with flash, with the 600EX RT to be exact, and it did not disappoint. Armand then gifted us with a few 8x10 large format Polaroids, one with the core documentary crew, Steven, Gene, Joe, and I, and then he took one of Maddie and Joe as well. So freaking cool. If you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, definitely go check out that camera store. Thank you so much for having us, Armand. We had a great time. After that, we went to dinner at Barley and Board, Jason Lee's restaurant, which was super tight, then finished the night at a bar playing darts. We had to cut it short, but I was poised to absolutely smoke Joe and Gene was throwing underhand. Day three, we spent the morning editing a teaser trailer for the documentary and then head over to FM headquarters for a tour. It's fantastic. We had lunch and then we were treated to a live show by the legend himself, Johnny Stimson. Secrets. I wanna know I love you funny little chick. Really cool because I've been listening to Johnny for nearly a decade on Music Bed. He's been there from nearly the get-go. Love his song so good. Have loved it for years. Day four. The first morning of sun drew us out of our rooms like a moth to lamp. We couldn't resist indulging in the glorious light. Was that facetious? <laughs> I wrote that and now it sounds dumb coming out of my mouth. <laughs> 
Definitely put that in there. <laughs> We finished the teaser trailer for the doc by early afternoon so we could show it to everyone that night. It was really special to sit down and have that editing time with Steven and Gene, really letting us soak up all that we just did the past 12 months making this damn thing. Absolutely surreal. So then Gene, Steven, and I jumped on Music Bed's podcast, which will probably drop around when the doc is released. And then Joe and I did an episode together where we sat down and talked about how all the documentary stuff unfolded, relationship building, trust building. It's gonna be a super interesting episode, and I think that'll drop around the time of the documentary going live as well well on music beds podcast i didn't bring my camera for the final dinner it was with the whole crew and it was exceptional super delicious but we went back to the house that night and premiered that trailer to that small group of people including maddie and joe and there may have been some tears shed it was honestly just insane to see some something materialize out of all the hard work we've put in in the past um nearly year day five never film on the last day because i never want to <laughs> because I suck at vlogging. <laughs> Plus it was also 4.30 a.m. We then premiered a souped up version of that teaser trailer at Sam Newton's birthday event this past Saturday, and it was hard to explain how wild of an experience that was. Here's a sneak peek of the sneak peek. I knew that something special was happening with what running was giving me, both physically, spiritually, mentally, creatively, relationally. It was affecting every facet of my life. Massive thank you to Laura, Mia, Avery, Nick, and Daniel, and the multitude of other people at FM for putting this on for us and inviting us out and being so hospitable for this week. You gave us the ability to process and the time and the space to really start wrapping our head around this project, around this documentary, and it's really giving us the motivation and excitement to dive into the full edit of the whole thing. So thank you for just giving us that time. Me sitting in my apartment 10 years ago, downloading Premiere for the first time and making my first music bed account never could have dreamed of something like this happening so i just want to thank all of you for the support the constant support of helping me do what i do and being able to work with brands like music bed thank you to everyone thank you to music bed thank you to you watching thank you for sticking with me and just joining along on the adventure of what we are doing and making all this art and uh yeah love you so much squad fam bye now p.s joe you may have scorched me on that one throw in that dodgeball game but Let's be honest, you were not aiming for me. I spun into that laser. I'll give it to you, it was fast. It hurt a lot, but you were not aiming for me. And the world just needs to know that, okay? All right, bye.